Now for number 11, we're going to use the exponent, negative x squared, to be our u. And the reason why we're doing that is, as I said before, is because the derivative of negative x squared, which is negative 2x, is in is one of the factors of our question. It's just missing the 2, and we could easily fix that by multiplying and dividing by 2 at the same time. So let's put this um, negative x squared as our u. And the next step is always take the derivative of the u that we just defined, and that's negative 2x dx. And we're going to rewrite the question. We're going to put this 5 outside. So we're rewriting. The 5 goes on the outside. Constants always go on the outside. And we need the negative 2 so that we will have du as one of the factors of the question. So we're going to multiply by negative 2 and then divide on the outside by negative 2. So now let's rewrite the question in terms of u and du. The negative 5 half stays. Negative 2x times dx is du. e to the negative x squared. Negative x squared is u. Okay, if you need more detailed explanations for these, uh, go to the video that does number 9 and 10. There are the two problems prior to this. I explained it in a little bit in more detail. So now the answer is negative 5 halves. Antiderivative of e to the u du is e to the u plus c. So e to the u plus c. And one last step. Let's rewrite the question back in terms of x. So that would be e to the negative x squared plus c. And always check by taking the derivative. So we're going to double check. by taking the derivative of our answer. So that would be negative 5 halves. Derivative of e to the u is e to the u du. So that's times, I'm sorry, it's e to the u times u prime. So this is e to the negative x squared times derivative of the exponent, which is negative 2x. Now let's reduce. Let's get cancels with that. The signs become positive. So the derivative is, in fact, 5x e to the negative x squared, which is our original question. Now let's do number 12. So number 12 is similar to number 10, where we have a factor that's inside parentheses and its derivative is the other factor. Actually, that is not true. <laughs> okay, so that's actually good that um, this came up, so we see that this is not the case because derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Derivative of negative e to the negative x is positive e to the negative x. And that is not, we have more than one term here, so that's obviously not the derivative of this. So the way we do this is we're going to distribute this e to the x to the inside. And we're going to get e to the 2x, because you add the exponents when the bases are the same. And here you get minus e to the 0, which is 1, 
dx. Okay, so let's rewrite that again. That's e to the 2x minus 1 dx. So all we've done so far is just rewrite our question so that it's more manageable so that we could use the rules that we've learned for integration. So we just distributed this and we used the rule that when you multiply x to the n, let's write the rule here, times x to the m, you get x to the n plus m. So we are going to split up this antiderivative into e to the x dx minus 1 dx. Now, you don't have to break it up. You could just do this in your head, but I'm breaking it up for us since we're new at this. Okay. Now, this you might just be able to do in your head. The antiderivative ends up being 1 half e to the 2x plus c. In case you can't see that, let's go ahead and let u be the exponent. See, what happens with this, this is similar to number 9, where we ended up dividing by the derivative, which happened to just be a constant, okay, which is the same thing here. When the derivative of the exponent is just a constant, in the antiderivative, we, we end up dividing by that constant when taking the derivative of the antiderivative of e to the ax. So the next step is to take the derivative of u that ends up being 2 dx. So we need a 2 here, which means we have to put the 1 half. And that's where that 1 half comes from. So the question can be rewritten as 1 half the 2 dx is du and then e to the u. So that turns out to be 1 half e to the u. I'm going to skip that step. u is 2x. And then the antiderivative of 1 is x and then plus c. Let's quickly take the derivative. The der I'm just going to do that here for number 12. Derivative of 1 half e to the 2x is 1 half e to the 2x times 2. The 2's cancel. Derivative of negative x is negative 1. Derivative of a constant is 0. So this is e to the 2x minus 1, which is, in fact, what we started out with e to the 2x minus e to the 0, which is 1.